Hello again, Funk Doc, as always, and this time we got a couple new players here. It's me and Emmett's one in this four-player game on USA, so we're two of the regulars on here. But we have two new players here. We have Giftschlange, who is a clearly a German player. Uh, they speak German in the chat. I don't know much about them. So they are a registered player. They have some games on Power Grid, but only 4% win rate. Uh, okay. So maybe he's still like a newer player to this. So I'll be on the lookout for them. I'm going to pay 8 for this if Gift doesn't. I want to go low in the turn order. Like... When you're playing with less experienced people, I try to go low in the turn order and see if they make panic plant buys that give you big drops. And then there's Newman, who I didn't even talk about. So Newman I did a couple games with late last night to teach them the BSW interface because they were struggling with misclicks and things like that. And I'm definitely paying eight for the, the four plant. That's for sure here. It can be kind of scary to build early against less experienced players, but that's why I choose just really boring safe spots. Like, uh, on this map, it would be Billings. Billings and Washington, D.C. would be the main spots I would eye here with a single build. So... By getting the four, I can take one of those spots for sure. I want to be I want to be below these other players. Oh, Newman actually pays six for the three plant. Oh, right, that's pretty rare to see outside of Germany. And really, only like top player games in Germany will you see the three go this high normally. Anyway, mm, Newman is a player who got in touch with me over BoardGameGeek.com. And um, they'd seen my thread there for my YouTube videos. And uh, that's what got them interested in uh, wanting to give this another try. Uh, online. They, they said they've played over 400 games in person, and apparently they won the tournament at Gen Con earlier this year, which is one of the two big, big two board game conventions along with Origins. So yeah, Newman's a very experienced real life player, but uh, new to the online scene. And I definitely uh, gave them a crash course both in the uh, BSW client itself and in uh, two player games last night because they'd actually never played a two player game before. Right. So at least, so Newman builds before me Ooh, Gift takes the nine. I can kind of see why nine might seem like an attractive starting plant. But I think the five is better because not only do you build earlier with the five, but you also police coal a little bit more and attack it more for the player with the eight. Amit's made out big time here getting the eight plant with, uh, they're going to get some really cheap coal here. Like, they should be able to store, I think, five coal and still uh, build two cities. 33, 35, 38. So all uh, big plants here being drawn this early. Could make it harder for high-numbered plants to make it onto the market later. See, I really hope Newman builds two here. I was going to say, either Pittsburgh or Washington, D.C. I personally like Washington a little better because 
it makes it less enticing for someone else to build behind you. What this means now is that I must take Billings. I think that's my safe, safe single build remaining on the board here. Gives me a lot of, you know, gives me safe options for step two and step three building too. West Coast should, will be, uh, was not, in, West Coast is not in high demand, particularly Southwest, so I can go there later in the game when it's less expensive compared to everything else. Emmett's build here, I think, is clearly Chicago, Minneapolis. That is like a perfect build for them with the eight plant since they want to build two cities anyway. So that is for sure the safest one to take. It'll give you land both ways. It's right in the middle of this map. Yeah. Correct. Absolutely the optimal build for them right there. I just have to hope Gift doesn't build next to me, that maybe they build next to Newman, and they just cannibalize each other. Okay, no, they do that, which I'm... Okay, they do a double build. All right. I don't mind that too much. This way I still get one of the twins at least. I just want to be below Gift in the building, though. That's very important. 31, some more big numbered plants coming on. All right. I'll pass on the 10 here. This is going to get interesting if Gift passes on the 10, which I think they should do here. You want to stick the player with the 8, stick them with the 10 if they bid on it, but he's not going to do that. Gift is going to, yeah, they let Emmett's off the hook on that one, which is kind of annoying. Uh, 33, 36, so we're getting all these big numbered plants. I don't want to touch 31 if it comes next, though. I mean, I'll put in a bid on the 13. Even though 4 and 13 is not an ideal combo, 13 will have long-term value later. Thirty-one showing like incentivizes me a little more to bid for 13 here. Ooh, Newman bids. All right. All right. Now I'll give it to them. Uh, and that's the dud right there. Well, the play now to me is obvious. I take the five and just drive up coal as much as I can. Uh, this auction... Oh my god! I mean, what? Why? Um, okay, sure. Yes, please. Yes, I'll do this. Store all the damn coal. What I need to do this turn is this. Um, let me think about Gift's money here. Gift paid nine for the nine plant. Um, nine for the nine plant bought two oil at, what was this? How much oil came back into the game? Uh, supply chart, three per turn. So while well, the $4 oil got bought out in the last turn. Okay, so they had to pay, I think, eight. So they paid nine for the plant. Gift paid nine for the plant. They paid eight for two oil. So that's 17. And then... No, nah, that wouldn't add up, though, because they paid 34 for the cities. So 34 plus nine is 43... And they bought two oil. I know they bought two oil. Um, so it had to cost just, what, seven for them? Anyway, um, they made 22. Here's my plan. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm just going to shove all the coal I possibly can up into this game. Okay. 
since I... Here's how I'm going to handle the 20. I'm going to not build this turn, so that way I only burn two coal. And I'll drive up the cost for gifts so that they cannot build a third city this turn. That means that next turn I'll build before them, and then I can get Denver. So that's what I was doing all that math for, is trying to figure out how much money Gift has at this point to make sure that they can't build Denver if I don't build here. Mm. 22 actually makes some sense for me. And yeah, Newman takes Detroit, which is the most obvious build for them for sure. They definitely want to expand west as much as they can in step one because Newman is cornered and does risk getting blocked in step two. So Detroit's quite valuable for them. I was shocked that Emmett's bought the five there. That why would you do that? Really surprised Emmett's did that. Not that I'm complaining right now, but still. And yeah, I was correct that Gift can't build. And Gift did not store extra coal again, which makes me feel good. Sadly, this is going to leave me behind the 8th ball in terms of money. I maybe should not have bought the 20 at all. And the problem is now I can't afford the 22 because then I can't build. I guess that was a mistake with the coal overbuy. I guess that was the problem. I do like 22 coming early though. That's um that's likely going to lead to uh, less coal being burned in this game. Emmett's needs really. I was shocked Emmett's didn't bid for the 22. That's the plant they really could have used here cuz then they could do like 5 and 22 and just uh power cities with oil. I do like the market stall though. The market stall that part plays to my favor. I mean, there's no plants you would want to buy here. I don't know what Emmett's is even thinking about. What the hell are you doing? Um, sure? I can't afford to power only one city again, though. This is weird. Oh, this is such a weird game right now. I can bank on a market stall though. I can try to bank on the market stall perhaps. This is gonna be painful if I only power one city again. This is gonna be really painful. I'll do it though. It's dumb as hell, but I'll do it. And 12 drops, which is a good sign for me. That might actually make this stupid strategy of mine pay off here. How could I only power one city for three turns in a row, though? This is really stupid. It's just that with so many of the big number plants coming early, 
I thought maybe like we can get enough of a market stall that this will actually pay off for me. Plus 20 means I don't have to run the 20. I mean, 21 means I'm not going to have to run the 20 for a long time. So that part plays to my favor. Interesting plant buys from Emmets here. I was not expecting to see the six being bought. Newman is going to... Okay, so Newman's going to get off to a big early money lead. The question is, will they be able to get the plants in time? We know Gift is going to build Denver, yeah. Thing is, though, I do safely get five cities this way. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I bought a little too much coal, though. I guess that was my mistake when I bought the 20, was buying a little bit too much coal there. This is the kind of map that is prone to building stalls, though. Can't help but feel like 22 will pay off for me, though, in the long run. 35, 50. buying 23 now what is going on in this game this is weird some really strange plant buys from emmets here i wonder if they just are really trying to prevent a market stall which they sort of did i mean 30 has come on I feel like a stall has to come, though. <laughs> it's just seeing all the really high-numbered plants coming early that's making me think that we could be in for a market stall. And at least Newman couldn't get to four cities in the last turn, so that does hurt their money a little bit. If they're really thinking about 30 here, and I, I hope they do. And they do. Wonder if Gift might bid on this. Problem is, oh, oh, there's a bid. I hope Gift gets uh, gets left with this plant. They have very expensive builds coming, since I am finally going to take Seattle this turn. So that cuts off their uh, their best place to jump.
I guess if nothing else, this game could be a good teaching tool if I do end up losing to this. I think Newman's just winning the game now, though. Even having to replace that extra oil on the three, I mean, that's kind of whatever. They can just sit at three cities for a while and just make a bunch of money, and then 30 will come into its own eventually. 17, one of the primo stall plants right there. Gift will probably buy a plant, though, I just realized. I don't know, though. These are pretty awful. Just an awful set of plants here. They know that I can't buy a plant, though. Yeah, 31, which I don't want to touch. All right. Well, we could have stall potential here. I have enough to buy one oil again and burn this extra coal sitting here. Next turn, we shall see... Because next turn, okay, I'm going to power two cities. It's going to be 33 with two left over. I won't even be able to, shit, I won't even be able to make it to four cities. Wow, I am pretty well screwed here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just not going to make it up in time. Uh, buying 12 did not help my cause either. It's going to be 13 plus 22 is 35. This is going to suck. Wait, no. No, it doesn't. Hold on. I make 33, right? Wow, 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 wow. Never mind. I ha I'll, I'm going to have exactly enough money to get to four next turn. Okay, okay. We may not be dead yet. Maybe. And these players resorting to such trash and uh, green, trash, nuclear, and green heavy strategies that will play to the favor of my 20 in the long run, too. Except 31 actually stays on because fuck my life. I was really thinking we'd be in for a stall. I guess I just think, like, would we get nothing but plants in the 40s and high 30s coming in the first turn, and mostly those in the first couple turns, that we're going to get a market stall? That was my thinking with the 20 and 21 buys. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, well, this game's been the exact opposite of what I needed to happen for my strategy to work. Although, it is going to make fossil fuels cheaper. Newman might bid this. And at least the 6 is, is sitting around there to keep uh, Trash from getting too cheap for the 30 there. Although I still feel like Newman's got to be in the overall strongest position at this point, having the whole East Coast to themselves. Never mind, okay. Never mind. I luckily have exactly enough money to build to 4 this turn. I will have to burn 2 coal to do it, but that's okay. Because coal's going to be cheap now, it seems.
still a few plants that could put 34 in the market too. Hmm. All these damn six plants in the game, that's killing me. I'm just, I'm not going to win this game. I'm very likely gonna, going to get last here. I'm trying to think which one was the mistake. Should I not have bought the 20 on turn two? I mean, with the four, I didn't really have a lot of other options. I think maybe buying 20 was right, but then don't do the massive coal overbuy. I guess that part might have been the mistake. To you, I just my, it's my two-player mentality seeping through there. Buying up extra resources doesn't help you nearly as much in the multiplayer games as it does in two-player, and you're seeing what here. Although this is an unusually strong early market. Gift needs this plant a lot more than Newman does. Gift needs to bid here. Yes, please bid. Emmett's is not looking bad either, though, because 31. Goddamn 31. Ugh. 31 at cost is, I feel that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have thought in terms, thought more in terms of buying the coal I would need to get the builds I need and not done the massive overbuy. I guess that was the mistake. Please keep bidding, Gift. We still have a chance of a pretty strong stall here after this. Never mind. Okay. 29. That's cool. The hits just keep on coming. So, yeah. I'm... Why did I think the game was going to stall? Why did I think the game was going to stall? And now here's another stupid... This is a ma- Then I can't buy this. I can't buy this either. Uh, this is like... If I were playing Dominion, this would be the point where I'd resign right now. I mean, at the very... Wow, Newman... Actually, Newman can only power three cities this turn.
And 26 stays on. Fuck my life again. <laughs> why did I get wacky? I mean, why did I, I I pick like the this market is I just with everything coming after I had to pick this time to get wacky with the plants here. Now I'm actually in a position to bid though. Can actually bid on 26 here. I'll fight for this. I think I'll actually I'll just I'll just lean into the big plant strategy. Because after this, now we can be looking at a serious stall. I think this is my only chance. If I get this plant and the market stalls after this, because there's only potentially one more five plant left after this, so I could just go for the capacity game. Yeah. Last place confirmed. 32 drops out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, anyway, last place confirmed for me now. I mean, I could maybe finish ahead of Gift, because Gift really lacks capacity. We know 25 gets put up for bid. Gift, uh, they need the capacity. For sure. I think Emmets has won this game now. Emmets is going to win this. They have the highest base capacity. They have two six plants plus a three, so their capacity is going to be good. If the if building stalls out, then they're going to have the capacity lead and just be able to end the game whenever step three comes, if the game just stalls after this. All right. There's nothing left for me to do now. We're just playing out the string here. This is every single five and six capacity plant. In step one. In step one. In fucking step one. My god. Newman is the only player who might be able to come back, but Newman kind of... They fell behind in money with the 33 bidding last turn, where they couldn't build a four with it. They should be able to reach at least six this turn, though. Yeah. Mm 
Just all the, the resources I can afford here. Might as well. But yeah, all this... Okay. At least, like, there's only one player with trash and green now, so things are going to get more expensive for the fossil fuels. That hurts me, though. But it also hurts Emmets. I mean, Emmets, I think, is still going to be the favorite, though. Getting two six plants with a stall coming up after this. That's going to be too much to overcome. Wow. Just wow. Wow, just wow. <laughs> Yep. I don't think Newman can get to seven, but I figured they could get to six. I guess my best hope is stall after this lets me get to second place. I guess that's my hope here. Well, next turn I built to five and just stopped there, I think. Seven in. Well, that's one of those stall plants there at this stage of the game. 27 is a plant that just exists to block the market. <laughs> Newman's going to make the most money from a stall by far out of all these players. But I almost wonder if it might not be in their favor to break the stall, because they're going to be stuck at the top of the turn order. 33 is the highest numbered plant in this game right now. Even, you know, Emmets has lower numbered plants, so Emmets building to 6 would actually stay below Newman in the turn order. And uh, Emmets has a safe 6th city with St. Louis, most likely, that they may want to build to. What a weird, weird game. <laughs> well, now time for me to drive up costs as much as I can and build to five. Yeah, we can do this. Now is the right time for me to overbuy resources, though. With all this stuff being used in the game right now. We have hybrid plants out there. Actually, we have every hybrid plant currently in the game except for the 46, which is step three only.
because both my opponents use both coat you know they ev well everyone except newman uses both coal and oil so it is still in my favor to stock extra of both of those things I always seem to get someone building in the West Coast when I build Billings. Someone else builds with me. Really? Really, Gift? Really? It kind of makes sense because you can skip Phoenix and just get to the cheaper stuff in the Southwest more quickly, spending less in connections as long as you don't care about getting Phoenix. There is some sense to that play. I hadn't considered it before, but it does make sense. And I'm actually glad that Newman is stalling because that's going to get me closer to getting back into the game. I mean, there's still no way in hell I win this at all, of course. But... I'm also glad I bought coal because coal being cheaper than oil now um, is going to make... It's going to make Amit's uh, use the 31 over the 32, which helps me. I just need to stall for a while and build back up money for our chance to build again. I have 44 still in. All right. Fifteen, this is what I was looking for. Actually, Emmets, I'm come to think of it, Emmets will probably use the thirty two this turn. And speak of the devil, that's 44. Highest number plant left. Believe it or not, we're almost to step three already. I'll have enough money to make a decent build in the next turn, but I don't know if I could even build to nine. See, the problem was all those good plants coming up in the game that sped up the game a lot too because more people buying more plants means we get closer and closer to the step three card it's like it's like we're almost to step three already and it's just so it's just ridiculous like if i win the bidding war for 26 and then we get 15 16 14 coming after that would have been the one and only way that i might have been able to climb back into this game I still think actually Newman's going to win, though, because of it getting so close to step three, Newman is crushing the money game right now. And plus another plant's going to get built off the market, too. So actually, step three card is going to come after this. Yeah, I'm just hopeless. <laughs> 
I am so hopeless right now. Again, last place confirmed for me, for sure. Because after this, um, 44 is going to go under the deck, and then step three will happen. Yeah. I think Newman's already won this game. What a weird market. What a goddamn weird market. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well. I just, I don't know. I just feel like there's just so little to talk about in this game now. We're gonna fight for 39, and I think Newman should win that. I'm no I'm in no position to bid on a plant, that's for sure. We know I can't bid on a plant. Yeah. The 21 buy was the really stupid one. Actually the coal, and again, like I think I could have done okay handling the 20, like buying the 20 at cost in turn two. Although with the way this market turned out, I still wouldn't have won that way. I just, how am I going to know that, like, every goddamn plant on the earth is going to come in step one? We never even had a step two building phase. Like, step two technically, in, in a sense, step two never existed in this game. It's just, we got, the game just moved really fast. Way too fast for me. Gift and... Newman both need this plant. Surprise gift bows out, though. Yeah, Newman. 39 that cheap in this resource market. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, Newman. Newman, it's definitely game over. Newman's got this for sure. Their builds can get blocked. That's the only thing going against Newman now. But other than that, uh, yeah, 35 came. Oh, yeah, I'm passing. 42. So much ground to make up here. My goal is just simply block Newman as much as possible. With all my extra resources stored, I'm not going to care as much about turn order now. I might be able to hit 14 on the next turn, maybe. I should be able to. Actually, I don't know about that. Okay, I have exactly enough to do all this. So I can at least block Shik I can at least, uh... Well, no, I can't block still, because Gift Builds last. Eh, damn it, Newman's actually gonna be able to go west. That sucks. God. Maybe I need to stop single-building Billings. I just assume that no one else should want to build on the west coast, if I'm gonna do that. But they always do. No, I don't have enough money for that. Or that either. So I have to do it exactly enough for that. Okay.
I'm happy that Gift, though, is stuck at 14 capacity. They're still going to probably finish ahead of me, but they're not in a great spot either, plants-wise. I guess the lesson here is it's acceptable to power one city for turn two, but not for turn three. Does Newman remember that it's step three and like you can build into Chicago now? Because Chicago should be the most obvious target for them. Like they need to get west. Newman needs to expand west first and foremost. Yep, there we go. I'd say they had to be sitting on a lot of money. There we go, okay. It's actually worth it for them to fire all their plants. That being said, they're not as far ahead on money as I thought, but then they're way ahead on plant capacity compared to me, so they are still way, way ahead. I still think this is Newman's game, ultimately. Emmy has to play the turn order game carefully. I didn't realize, I guess just seeing how quickly step three was going to come with this plant market, that was the thing that was going to give Newman the game. I really thought Emmett's having two six capacity plants would give them a big edge, but then the stall just never happened. Plants didn't start stalling out until it was time for step three anyway. So I have to not buy a plant once again here and uh, just be content with my 14 cities. Because I'm going to bet this game doesn't go another turn. I mean, Newman, I think, could probably buy 34 and end the game on this turn. That's my thought. Because nobody else in this game is going to be able to end it at this point. Yep, correct play. Absolutely correct play for them. And I can just barely afford my 14 this turn. And my best cities left are building into Newman, so not great. I mean, it's bids on 34. Okay, 
We're actually going to have a little bit of a bidding war over this, it seems, because both players are gonna, could potentially threaten 17 with it. Okay, this could get interesting. Well, 40 is a safe plant, at least. It should be safe for Newman. But now it's going to be fairly expensive for them, so it's kind of an awkward spot. If Emmett's can end the, cannot end the game in this turn, then Newman would be able to get 40 and just go for 18 in the next turn and crush the game for sure. My hope is that Gift buys a plant this turn, and I cannot buy a plant and thus technically finish in third place ahead of them. Yeah. So Newman might not be as rich as I thought, actually. They did spend those turns paying for plants and only powering three cities for a little while there. That might end up being what gives Emmets the game. Like if Emmets with two six plants, if they have two six plants, then the fact that they're willing to bid for 34 now tells me they can end the game this turn. Otherwise they'd be better off not buying a plant this turn and waiting next turn to buy a six and go for 18. Forty-two over forty surprises me. I was expecting Newman to bid for the forty, less expensive plant and probably less expensive resource. And now Gift is going to get a good plan and probably finish ahead of me. Although Gift's building is getting blocked. I'm still going to build to 14, though. It's like, generally, the I, should, I guess this is an opportunity to talk about king-making rules in BSW. So, for the power grid community on BSW. Okay, Emmets can end the game. Oh my god, Emmets did not buy a third oil by mistake. Um... Um... I mean, I'm still not going to win next turn, but... Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about king-making. So, for me, since I thought the game was going to end this turn, what would work for me is I just build to my most city, like, power my most cities possible and do it as cheaply as possible. Just do what's best for me, ignoring the other players. Yep. Okay. Gift buying all those extra resources tells me that I 
I could finish third here. Actually, I could technically finish ahead of Emmett's too, because Emmett's didn't buy a third oil on the thirty-two. My builds ended up surprisingly well. Onuma's saying should have tried harder for the 34. Well, that tells me that they can't end the game then. Okay. Well, I can buy, what I can do is this. I can run the 26 and the 21, buy the 36 plant on the next turn. I'm gonna finish behind other players. So actually, you know what I could do? I can just fire all my plants this turn. Yeah, that's what I can do. Run all my plants this turn, make the most money possible, and then uh, bid for the 36 on the next turn. Because I'm the only player who really needs it. I'm still going to finish last, I think, but... Yeah. Newman's still going to win this game on the next turn as long as they don't uh, run the 42. Which I would expect them not to. As dicey as the Cole situation is here. There we go, there we go. Yeah, so Numa's Newman, just going to win then. They have their two colon 42, that's all they need. And I'm the player who still looks the weakest, so... I think people are not going to buy out coal on me if I just run all my plants this turn and then buy the 36 to close it out. I can't believe I'm actually going to, I could actually finish at 17 here. It's still going to be a dead last, but that's still better than I ever expected to do here. Fifty and forty-six there, and forty-four. So we know thirty-eight is actually ooh thirty-eight. Ooh thirty-eight comes too. That's interesting. Problem is no one really needs it. Nobody really needs thirty-eight at this stage. Therefore, I could make out pretty well if I take that. Relatively speaking, of course. And nobody else is going to want this. Plus, Gift still has too much coal. The Gift bought too much coal last turn. Considering that uh, they have more than what's needed to fire their plants this turn. Gift, I wonder if Gift might even make it to 17. Their build, again, their Gift's builds are pretty rough. I mean, I expect like Gift can get uh, Billings and Seattle. And Boise, they can get those. Billing, Seattle, Boise, Salt Lake, but then they don't have a great uh, last city. I'll let Gift have this. And Emmett's can't bid on this. Yeah, there we go. So at least I win that exchange. And I'm guaranteed, I should be guaranteed enough oil. 
Considering Newman is the player that would need to be targeted and not me, I really hope Gift doesn't buy out oil. Really hope Gift doesn't buy out oil, please. Actually, I think they can't. I don't think they have enough open to buy out oil. So maybe I get third, maybe even second out of this dumb game? Wow. I definitely have to f be able, as long as I get two oil, yeah, I have to finish ahead of Gift now, for sure. Gift is not even going to get to 17 now. Emmets should, though, and I expect Emmets to be ahead of me in the money race. They can get Boston before me. The nice thing is Gift's not going to block my builds out east, really, because their cheap cities are almost all in the west. And they can't have a lot of money at this point. Gift come. Um... Nah, I mean, Newman has to have 18. There's no way Newman doesn't get to 18 here. For sure. Newman's still going to win. It's really just going to come down to me versus Emmets and money, and I think it's going to be Emmets uh, winning that battle. Jump into St. Louis, really? I don't get that, but okay. What's cheapest for me now in purple land? As me as the purple player. Definitely Boston. Boston, Washington, Cincinnati. Yep. Somehow I managed to make it to 17 after my dumbass start to this game. Oh, wow. I'll actually take that, all told. So I guess, uh, I mean, I experimented with a wacky early strategy and it definitely didn't work. <gasps> really? Newman didn't get to 18? Really now? Um, um, I'm not going to win. 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 There's no way I'm going to win this game. I'm not going to win. I am not going to win. No fucking way I win this game. Okay, so Newman could have built 18 or so. I finished second! I somehow finished second in this dumbass game. <laughs> I played the dumbest early game you possibly could, and I get second. this is going to go on to YouTube. I'm glad this is getting to YouTube. What a weird game. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad this will exist on video. Thank you and